Okay, so my more observant subscribers, I love you all, have noticed that I skipped a week, i.e. last week. And I'm here to tell you about it. I'm, a, I'm going to vent to you. It's not like an animatic or anything, or I do multiple frames. It's just going to be me on a couch venting toward you. You are my psychologist, psychiatrist, whatever which one it is. I will be venting. So if you want to listen to this in the background while you do something productive, go ahead. It's going to be a big one. Day one, Monday. Monday was fine, actually. Everything went as planned. I did some animating. Did a walk cycle on 3D, not 2D. I'll show that next time, later, probably, maybe, who knows. Did a few frames that I was intending for the video. These videos actually take two weeks. It's just not me being lazy. I have to spread them out so that they don't interfere with other things in my life. And then Tuesday happened. Woke up to pitch black. I'm legit talking pitch black. I couldn't even find my specs. That's how dark it is. There's like a pharmacy right next door, right across the street from my house. So it just bombards my room with light. You get used to it, it's fine. But when you wake up without it, it's noticeable. So now, I'm like, huh, maybe there was load shedding. I'm like, I really hope it'll be gone by like 8. But whatever, ESCOM is, uh, is unpredictable. By the way, for the people that are not in SA, ESCOM is our one and only electricity supplier. And they're as reliable as a wet sock. Actually, that's a lot more credit than I give them for. They're about as reliable as a baby's attention span. Yeah. On a good day. But anyway. Wake up. I look at my laptop. I'm like, how much power do I have left? It tells me, freaking hell, buddy, you got like 30 minutes. You forgot to charge me. And I'm like, okay, I'll just wait for the electricity. Psh, no big DZ. They usually come back at 8 or 10, depending on how they're feeling that day. So I'm there waiting, waiting with my sister. She's like, you know what? I don't think the electricity is coming back at 10. I'm like, oh, psh, I have a plan. This usually happens. So I head to campus. Campus has its own generator. I charge my swag there and then come back home and then entertain people with the charged swag and then go back and charge my swag again. But the idiots at my campus started a strike. It wasn't even a good strike. It was just terrible. It was pathetic. The only thing that was keeping me off campus was not the actual strike, but the campus security saying striking is dangerous and they won't let anyone freaking in. Damn it! This is how pathetic it was, okay? Okay. Everyone was sitting on the lawn in front of campus. The only thing blocking me was those weird trays you carry bread with. They broke the bottles onto the ground but they did it in such an idiotic manner that any idiot with eyes can drive around it. So anyway, I couldn't charge my swag, went back home. And then waited. And waited. And then I'm like, screw this, I'm gonna go to Tess's house. Oh, and I packed my bag with me just in case we needed to discuss some stuff. For a future project. Keep a lookout for that. Foreshadowing. But anyway we get there. I am incredibly distracted. And I spend most of the time gaming with him. Because his section of town isn't affected. It's like fortunate that he lived far enough for that. Anyway. We, we, we just spend the whole day gaming. And then my mom calls. And she says I need the car. And I drove back. Gave her the car. And then we're like, maybe the electricity will come back at like t at 8 or 10 at night this time. So my dad says, you know what? Take the other car and go practice driving because you're going to go for your driver's test. Yes, I've been doing some mm, less than legal driving. I mean, I was driving legally. 
wink, wink. But anyway, I get there and one of the driving instructors goes like, hey, did you hear? I'm like, hear what? He says, they stole cables from that power box. Like, let me explain how big this thing is. You know what danger box, right? It's about the size of like a two refuse bins. And then you get the danger hut. That's like really bigger. That's terrible English. And then you get the danger RDP. They stole cables from the danger RDP. And then for some stupid reason, they set it on fire. What's with this country and fire? Ugh. So he says it might take them like a day and a half to get that fixed. Because, you know, those cables are damn well expensive to get. And our municipality is useless. Yeah. So, I look at my laptop. It won't switch on. It said, ha ha, you forgot to charge me at Tess's house. At this point, I want to just tombstone myself. But anyway, no. Tomorrow's a new day. I can do stuff. So I wait for the next day. The next day shows up. There's still no electricity. And freaking tastic. So, do what I usually do. I'm like, Hopefully the, hopefully the strike is done. It is not. They are still striking. It is still very incompetent. It is still the campus keeping me out. And I can't charge my swag. So, I go for driving lessons again. Because that's the only thing I can do. I can't go to Tess's house because my mom said... Go to driving lessons or I'll freaking ban you from the car until you get a license. And I'm like, mom, that's pretty harsh, man. And she says, them's the coconuts, boy. Them's the coconuts. So I'm at my driving lesson. Driving instructor is pretty good. And if you're ever in my area and you really need a license, get him to teach you. He's a freaking awesome man. Anyway, practice, practice, practice. And then I get out and then I come back home and I'm like, let me go visit my friend. We can rant. We can rant at each other. The incompetence of people stealing cables that supply electricity to a freaking section, an entire unit and a half. And I get to his house and he's like, no, I have to go for driving lessons too. I'm like, oh yeah, we did apply at the same time. Oh. So he goes for his lessons and I go home to read a book. We have a lot of books. My dad has a lot of books. I have a lot of books. Yeah. And I read those books. Really hoping that electricity will come back at like, I don't know, 12. At least the light would wake me up and I'd get some work done. No. We went, we're going to Wednesday. There's still no electricity. By the way, on this day, I had to go for my driving test. And lo and behold... The driving, the traffic center is the is so close to where I live that they don't have electricity as well. So I have to go and get the test. I had to get the test done. I get the test done because freaking hell, I don't fail on the third try. <laughs> yeah, but then they say, well, since there's no electricity, we can't put you on the system. And without the electricity, without you being on the system, we can't grant you a license. But what we can do is give you a piece of paper that said you passed. Like, give me the paper. I'm a bug out. Get the car, pick up my dad, and I go home. Congratulations all around. I am a licensed driver. By the way, some stories about me before the test. Because I've always had my license. What are we talking about? Those fun times of me driving legally. <clears throat> will be coming out soon stay tuned for that we'll all enjoy that and also my driving test that's also freaking amazing both learners and actual drivers test those are freaking amazing stories but anyway back to my rant there's no electricity until the next day at like what time did they switch it back on i don't know 5 a.m so like hey there's electricity I plug my laptop in and I'm waiting for it to charge. 
And I'm like, you know what? To save time, let me go pick up my license. I go to go pick up my license. When I get there, my friend's like, hey, I just did my driver's test and I passed two. And I'm like, yes, boss man, we're both licensed drivers. We're both legal now, as we've always been. Yes. <coughs> ah, what the hell was that? Yeah. Anyway, and we wait. Because he just finished his driver's test when the electricity was back on, he was put on the system immediately. And I had to find the driving instructor. And he was out because he somehow locked his keys in his own car. And he had to go get his spare at home and come back to unlock his car to get his main keys. And I had to wait. He came in, put me on the system. I got my freaking license. And then I drove around town looking for traffic cops so that they can stop me. Mainly so that I can rub it in their faces. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a very petty little man. Anyway. And I'm like, let me go pick up my laptop. I can go to Tessa's house and work there. <laughs> Big mistake on my part. Yeah, I get to his house. We play some Dragon Ball Z Fighter, Fighter Z. Fighter Z, the best fighting game ever. We also play some DMC, the best game ever. And yeah, we discussed the project I told you about that you should be watching for in the future. Probably in the future, very much in the future. And I get home. I'm like, I'll work at home. Obviously. I get home. Load shedding, people. Load shedding. The electricity is gone. On the news, the power minister, whatever his freaking name is, says, yeah, for the next 18 months, there will be load shedding. Consistent load shedding. Where they switch off the power. Because they weren't, they did not have the foresight to build more power utility plants to supply the country that they're solely responsible for. They're the only thing that's powering this city and the country and they can't freaking get it right. How? Sh sure as hell. Now I'm like, okay, now I have to be efficient with my, with my laptop because if it dies, I'm back to square one. So now I put it on power saver, but now power saver affects my system. My system is now working as a grandma with arthritis on their left knee, specifically. And now they can't, now I'm working in circles. Because now every time I make a line, I have to wait for my, my PC to catch up. It's now behind the tablet. And now it's so annoying. So I'm working, working. And I'm like, screw this noise. If I work anymore, my P my tablet will be draining more PC than the PC itself. So I switch it off. So I take off the thing and I'm like, let me work in 3D. Maybe that will be more efficient. Oh, how dumb was I? It drained my power. I was at like 20% with it gasping for a life. It was reaching out. Bruh. Bruh, why are you doing this? Bruh. I'm like, just... Stay strong, my buddy. We need to make content. Our public needs us. It said, bro, I can't handle this. So I shut it down. I'm like, we'll, we'll continue tomorrow. Load shitting will be over tomorrow. Friday is the busiest day of my life. Friday happens. I have to run errands because now I'm legally driving as I've always been. But with now the paper that's saying I can. And then I don't have time to do this. Because I come back at like weird hours. I have to take my little brother and sister to school. Because they had to do an athletic thing. And I come back. And then my mom says, go pick something up over there. And I'm like, yeah, you were waiting for this, weren't you? And she gives me the biggest, the biggest, most motherly, yeah, you know it, grin I've ever seen. Freaking proud that she actually did that, actually. That was amazing to look at. She said, yeah, 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 now you can drive around and I don't have to get up. E. So then that's Friday. And then Saturday 
more low cheering. And Sunday, I volunteered for church. Oh yeah, I did promise I, I did promise that I was gonna volunteer at the start of February, and that was the first Sunday of February, so I had to show up early for church and leave late for church. I'm not really salty about that, cause you know my word, I promise. I keep my promises. Monday rocks up, and now I have to go to campus. Mind you, remember the strike that started Monday? That strike continued the whole week. As pathetic as it was, I drove past that with Tess to show him how pathetic it was, and like the only reason I'm out of campus is campus security again. He laughed maniacally. I wish I recorded that. He sounds like a super villain. Anyway, with all that weirdness, now I'm at school. I have to do schoolwork. I have to register. I have to make sure all my modules are in. I have to make sure that I meet all my lecturers. Because I'm a good student. That's how I'm making this without my parents trying to stab me for neglecting school. Yeah. And that was the, and the first week was so, so up and downish. At least I didn't have the lecturers that actually gave tests that first week. By the way, most of my lectures are pretty cool, except for one. He's boring as hell. Hopefully he changes. But, yeah. That was it. Oh, by the way, this actually... <laughs> the idea for this rant was not uh, originally mine. It was by the man himself, Double G, Ghetto Goku. He knows himself. He was like, why don't you just monetize your pain? And I said, my friend, you are a genius. You deserve a Nobel Prize. And now I'm here. So, I've paused all my, all my projects. Not all. In, well, I've paused them for the rest of this week so I can catch up on school. I have tests on the second week. You know what? This rant is long enough. Thanks for listening. You know what? And share my pain. Like, share it so that people can hear it. I really want this to be a thing. All the South Africans, unite under my fury! Yeah! Like and subscribe if you're new. This is not the usual content, but if this is the way forward, I will use my anger. Not really anger, more like mild annoyance. Do I really actually get angry? No. Sometimes. Once is every time the sun looks like it's about to explode. Yeah. See you in the next video, guys.